Origin allows you to save your ASCII import settings into the worksheet itself. When doing this, you can then save the worksheet template to reuse when importing similar data files. I begin by importing a single ASCII file. I want to customize the import, so I make sure that the Show Options dialog checkbox is checked. If left unchecked, my last used theme settings would be used to import the file. When I click Open, the Options dialog opens, displaying the settings in my last used theme, meaning the settings used the last time I imported an ASCII file. Since the workbook will become a template, I don't want the workbook to be renamed with the file name. So we'll expand this node here, and we see that this checkbox is already unchecked. I'm going to set the Add Spark Lines. We can collapse this. The Add Spark Lines to No. Spark Lines will not be turned on for each column, and the import will be faster. Now to save these settings to the worksheet, Next to where it says Dialog Theme, I click the arrow, and I choose Save to Sheet. Now I am ready to do the import, so I click the OK button. You'll notice that the file name was not used to rename the book, but it was used to rename the sheet. Sparklines were not turned on for each column. To save this workbook as a template, I right-click on the title bar, and choose Save Template As. In the dialog that opens, I want to change the name, which is the name of the template used to create that window. I want to give it a new name as I'm creating a new template. I then click OK to save the template. This template contains both the import settings and the worksheet property settings. There's a message that pops open telling me the template is saved and where it was saved in my user files folder. Now to create a new workbook from this template, I click the Open Template button on the standard toolbar. I change the files of type to Workbook Template, and I choose the name of my template. I now have a new book that was created based on the settings in my custom template. I'm going to drop a new file into this workbook. So again, we're going to do the drag and drop importing. Let's drop sensor 2. We drop it into this worksheet and you'll see the settings used were the ones saved to the worksheet. Again, no spark lines were turned on, sheet named, but not the book. Now let's see how this compares to dropping that same data file into a new book which doesn't have any custom ASCII import settings saved into it, such as just creating a new workbook here. Now in this case, the file name was used to rename the book, and spark lines were turned on, so you can easily see the difference. Although this tutorial does not go into the details of saving analysis templates, it is efficient if the worksheet itself knows how the data should be imported. So this is another time when you would want to save your ASCII import settings to the worksheet itself. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching.